Kiss 98.5, Janet Snyder, Nicholas Pickles. Owl City is one of the big stars of Kissmas Bash 2012. We're on the phone with Adam Young. How are you? Doing well. I'm a little tired, but I'm doing good. What's on your schedule? What's got you tired? Right now, I, I actually just got off the road for about six weeks worth of international touring in Asia and Australia, New Zealand, uh, a couple weeks in Europe and the UK as well. So it's been a long road, but I finally got back to the States and uh, starting to get some some of that jet lag, you know, uh, taken care of. <laughs> well, get some rest and get ready for Christmas Bash 2012. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. Adam, when performing live, is it a is it a cool opportunity, a cool experience to connect with the audience? Yeah, it is, and I mean, I, I, at least I hope that's the way it comes off. Um, we we try to make sure we play a good mix of new and old songs. So if you've been a fan since the beginning, you hopefully you'll know some older songs. And if you're a fan, you know, a recent fan or not even a fan at all, and you just you're just starting to to check in on what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully, there's some stuff that'll catch your ear as well. So yeah, we, we try to uh, pay attention to what's going on. We first heard about you with the song Fireflies. It's sort of a track that caught everybody's attention. I love the song and was surprised that it got so popular. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's you know that that's one of those songs. I, I, I'm not sure that I really realized what I was working on until it was it was out and it connected with everybody in such a way that I never envisioned. You know, so I I look at that song and it just makes me really thankful to be to be a part of it and to have my name on it. The album is The Midsummer Station. Tell me about the collabos on there. We've obviously heard the one with Carly Rae Jepsen, Good Time, which we're going to play in a sec, but you also hook up with Mark from Blink-182. I did, yeah. You know, uh, both of those collaborations were, were so much fun to be a part of. I feel really lucky to, to have both of those guests on the record. You know, I've been a big fan of Mark and his, you know, since Blink-182. He's been around for, for a decade or so. I mean, I guess probably more like 20 years now, but <laughs> yeah, uh, so I've been a huge fan of his stuff and just being able to collaborate with people you look up to is is pretty surreal. And I want to play Good Time with Carly Rae Jepsen. Can you explain what Prince song that is inside your head? It's a great question. Um, you know, for me, it, it's probably a different song for everybody, but for me, it's always been Purple Rain. That's a great song to have stuck inside your head. Let's listen to your song. It's Good Time, Owl City on Kiss 98.5. Kiss 98.5, one of the stars of Kissmas Bash 2012 on the phone with Adam Young. Tell me what you guys do live on stage. We try to make sure there's there's an, a, a sort of an element to the live show that isn't always up front and center on the record. So live, we have this really great guitar player. I, I guess we, we try to make the live show more like a sort of influenced by like an, an arena rock sound, you know? So there's like big loud guitars and there's, there's like big loud like live real drums on stage that, that don't always appear on the record side just because I feel like if you're playing a show in a club or in an arena, there's something kind of missing unless there's that element added from time to time you know so uh just just trying to make sure things are, are fresh and new and big and punchy and powerful and all that stuff i got a letter from a fan who said owl city changed her life and she talked about the fact that she's got lyrics from one of your songs on her wall as kind of a, a source of inspiration and just something to take her away from every day do you get a lot of that from fans yeah, that's, you know, for, for, for me, I, I, I see that kind of thing from time to time online. Of course, you know, sometimes people take photos of, of, of like, lyrics they've, they've painted or drawn on their bedroom walls. That's, like, so cool. You know, that's, like, when I was that age, that was something my parents never would have let me done. But, <laughs> you know, to, to kind of be reversed in the other shoes, you know, of the artist and seeing people who connect with what you do in that way, you know, to, to like something enough to want to put that on your wall so you see it every day, it's a you know, it's huge honor, you know, it's pretty humbling have you always been like like head first into music or were you doing something else when this all took off i i i always had this sort of kind of passion for for music you know certainly as a listener but but um in the last five ten years as as an actual like producer uh you know arranger kind of kind of uh like you know more traditional musician but um before this started, I was just trying to make ends meet, and I was just kind of working jobs that, that I didn't love and going to school without a plan, really, as far as what I wanted to do, you know. So I didn't have any connections back at the time, and um, I just started making music kind of in the form that it is currently just for the sake of keeping myself busy, you know, keep myself having, having something to look forward to when I get home from work. And, you know, it's, it's ironic that that's, uh, that's kind of been my way out of that that sort of mundane world that I was stuck in, you know? So, um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty surreal. <laughs>
rest assured, your songs are definitely catchy. People love them. Can't wait to see you at Kissmas Bash 2012. Mm, I can't wait to come and play. That's Adam Young from Owl City, one of the stars of Kissmas Bash 2012 on Kiss 98.5.